Hi guys, so basically this is a video of my NYSC experience. I went for camping in Imo State. Let me bust your bubbles. Actually, I was posted to Imo State for NYSC, but I didn't want to stay for camping. I actually wanted to like go there, do my registration, then come back to Enugu. So guys, I got to pack some of my basic needs to travel for NYSC camping in Imo State. And those guys, I wasn't planning to stay. I was actually like planning. My plan was to go there, register, maybe come back the next day. So basically, I didn't buy any stuff for NYSC. I didn't buy my white canvas. I just bought like one white shirt, one white polo. Then I already had sneakers, so I didn't buy sneakers. I didn't buy those rubber canvas. So guys, I got to the camp. When I got to the gate, I just entered. Then they got to search me in the gate. Then after searching me, they told me to go and get my accommodation. So guys, after getting my accommodation, I had to go to my room. Meanwhile, the day I came was the day they were doing swearing in. So I had to go and stay in my hostel and wait for them to finish swearing in before I can continue with my registration. Then after the swearing in, it was announced by some people in the hostel that we are supposed to go and get registered. So guys, I got hostel C. I'll show you guys on the screen. I got hostel C. Then after that, I had to go and register. Then after registering, I got my tag number and my state code. And my state code is 1018 IN23A slash 1018. That was my state code in Imo State. Basically, the last digit of your state code determines your platoon number. So my state code is 1018. Then my platoon number should be 8. So obviously, I'm in platoon number 8. So guys, there are so many activities to be performed in camp. Activities like parade. Basically, so just like it so much. So obviously, there are activities like volleyball, football, cooking competition, drama, and dance. So basically, that's the fun activities we had in camp. So guys, actually, I participated in volleyball and my platoon was the overall winner. So guys, as I was saying, you know, I told you guys, I didn't plan staying in camp, but later on, I stayed in camp. This is what happened. When I got inside the camp, although I didn't plan staying, but the environment felt welcome. My spirit was just at peace with the environment because I want to tell you guys something. When I moved in, the first comment I saw was an outside girl. So I saw her, her face was just welcoming and the environment was peaceful. So I decided to stay in camp. So guys, basically all the necessary things I needed for my camping experience or for my camping as a core member, I got it from mommy in camp. So guys, let me talk about my experience with the mix up of different tribes in Nigeria, the Igbo, Hausa and Yoruba. Obviously, I've lived in an Igbo land, so I know how Igbos do. I know how they behave. So but basically, this is my first time of like staying in the same place with Hausas and Yorubas. So I'll say Yorubas are noisy. Yorubas are noisy. And I, I just noticed that Igbo people are even calm. Yorubas are very noisy. Then Alsa people are like calm, calm. Igbo people are calm. Then Alsa people are like calm, calm. Alsa people, I think Alsa people relate more with their people. Then Yorubas are very, very noisy. And they speak that their language. You don't even know that there is any Igbo person in camp because basically Igbo people speak English then Yoruba speak their language and and oh my god I don't know how to explain but these people are, are noisy and they are good to go they are very good they have good hearts and they are good to go so basically that's my experience and what about outside people are just there with their own people with their own people so outside people are not basically good with relationships unless they know you and you speak their language so guys I'll show you guys my room and my corner so guys i met some international students and i met basically different good people so guys i cannot finish talking about my nyc experience without talking about how early we wake up we wake up very early in the morning like like around 3 30 um prepare to go to parade ground so basically nigeria wakes up i know you don't know this but you know it now so basically nigeria wakes up by 6 o'clock a.m and goes to sleep by 6 o'clock p.m so this is how they do it by 6 o'clock a.m a soldier man will blow the trumpet while lifting the nigerian flag then by six o'clock p.m a soldier man will blow the trumpet while bringing down the nigerian flag so guys another thing i want to talk about is my early morning experience although i woke up early, like i woke up around around 3 30 and i'm supposed to be in the parade ground by like 5 30 but after dressing up i just laid down i didn't like go immediately so around 5 35 or 5 40 the I mean, the female soldiers were just shouting double 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 so as i was just running and jogging to the parade ground you just hear the nigerian anthem oh my god i'm so nice i'll show you guys on the screen that's 5 o'clock a.m when we are 5 35 that's 5 
Pakai hey. TNM, we are on our way to the parade ground. And just hey. this Nigerian anthem hey. just started. Hey. It's just, it's just, just started singing Nigerian anthem, and it was so nice. And felt welcome. It felt I like I felt calm. So that's nice. So guys, another thing I want to talk about is Saeed. He loves traditional entrepreneurship development. So this is um NYSC Saeed department um, participant. So that's basically it. So there are different Saeed department NYSC come in back and participate in ranging from photography, videography, graphic designs, web designs, or even fashion designs. For me, I participated in web design tech. Uh, so guys, I told you guys that the last digit code of your state code determines your platinum number. So basically, my last digit is 8. So that's how we have like platinum number 1 to platinum number 10. So basically, they are inter platinum games and any platinum that wins gets a prize, especially the players. So basically, my team won, my platinum won for volleyball game. So we are paid. So that's basically it. So other teams won in drama, in football, and so many games like that. And even parade other teams won in Paris so that's basically it so I met I met good people in NYSC I met very very good people I met people with open mind I met good people so NYSC is actually good <laughs> NYSC is actually good it's actually good to serve I would advise anyone who wants to serve to serve if you can serve just serve so that's basically it so thank you guys for watching and see you guys in my next video bye